You welcome back to the chat right here on CTTV. This is the final leg of the show. And uh, I'm excited to have here Emma Ofosua, who is a poet. And they have an event coming up. I mean, it's going to be uh, a festival of enjoying good poetry. I mean, if, you, if you're a fan of poetry, this is a place for you to be. Uh, welcome to the chat, Emma. Thank you for How having me. How are you doing? Me. I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, it's too hot in Ghana. Okay. <laughs> well, Why is it hot for you? I, I think some of us have learned to adapt. Uh -huh. You have to. You have to, <laughs> yes. right? All right. Now, what does the AAWPF Festival, I mean, uh, acronym, what does it mean? Um, so that's the All African Women Poetry Festival. And it's okay. um, pretty much a four-day conference that happens right here in Ghana. And mm -hmm. we bring together 10 to 15 poets from different parts of the continent, mm -hmm. um, from African countries and also Africans in the diaspora. And mm -hmm. we bring them here for that length of time to dialogue in conversations, have workshops, and then crown it with a closing concert. Oh, so pretty much that's yeah. what the festival all is. All right, about. all right, all right. Also on Zoom, we have uh, Professor A.C. Sutherland Adi, who is the chairperson of the Ifwa Sutherland Centenary Steering Committee. Um, welcome, Prof, and good evening to you. How are you doing, Prof? Thank you very much. Oh, great, great, great. Thank you very much for joining us on the chat. Now, um, what, I mean, to you, Emma, what makes poetry ex exciting? I think for, for the longest, I keep explaining poetry to be putting language to our everyday human experiences. Mm -hmm. So what every person deals with on the regular, you just said it was very hot. Mm -hmm. If a poet was to say that, they would probably... Be color it beautifully and, and say it in a very extensive but also very calcified way to present it. So it, ha it comes with the beauty of language. It mm -hmm. comes with structure. What makes it amazing is that everybody sitting in a particular space can connect with the emotion of a particular time crystallized in words. Mm -hmm. Everybody in that space can find their place in a particular word or sentence or phrasing being spoken at, at a particular time. And so poetry has the diverse ability to connect with different people mm -hmm. at different times. And for me, I think that is exceptional uh, in itself. And it happens to be the cell of all the creative art forms. So call wow. the rappers, call the singers, call call the painters, call all of them, and they would fall back to poetry because that's where it begins all right, um, for all right, most all right. of them. Now, this year's festival is centered on the remarkable life um, and literary contributions of um, Ifo Sutherland, who has been like very, very monumental when it comes to literature in Ghana. And I want to understand why you chose her. Um, to be the focal point for 2024 edition. I'll throw this to Professor um, AC um, Sutherland here. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody gets mixed up with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, that's so fine. Yeah, let, let me just uh, first of all say that um, I've been on for, for a while on the program and it was interesting to see um, what people were thinking. And the issue that you raised about um, bringing in the diaspora, um, I just wanted to say that mm. some of these ideas um, have been part of Ghana's DNA mm. for more than 50, 60 years. Yeah. Um, and some of the people, one of the people who promoted this a great deal, a woman among many men was, was Ifwa Sutherland. Yeah. Um, and so she um, saw the beauty in, in the arts across Ghana and mm. um, did a lot of work to try and get us to appreciate what we have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whether it's in our festivals or, you know, on the, at the Trotro station or whatever, you see the arts playing a great deal of role. Mm. Um, so she... Um, I'm not surprised that um, she's seen as a full mother. Mm. Um, and, and I am grateful to, to Emma and her team for understanding that we need to reintroduce people like Ifwa Sutherland um, to the people, the, the young people of the 20th century, 21st century, um, so that we can see, you know, what wonderful uh, resources we have 
um, to use. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very, very much. And it's good that we are being deliberate about this to reintroduce a woman who, I mean, years ago, I didn't come to meet her. I mean, the only, the only one I know about her is in Fort Sutherland Park. Right. And I go there to have a good time. So it's good that we are int <laughs> reintroducing this. But, Emma, what are some of the performances that we should be expecting at this year's um, festival? Right. Um, let me backtrack a little bit. So for the need to reintroduce, you mentioned that Children's Park is all that comes to mind. Yeah, I mean, that's We it. want to let, if she were alive, this would be her 100th year. Yeah. She would be 100 this year. And so we want to be able to, through photo exhibitions, through workshops, mm. get people to see who she was, okay. get to feel who she was, get a, an, a sense of who, who she was and what she represented sense, yeah. and some of the things she did. And so um, people should expect to see that when they come for the concert, a photo exhibition of her. Um, we're expecting poets from Nigeria, poets from South Africa, poets from Kenya. We're expecting Africans from Canada, mm -hmm. from the U.S. Wow. and from U.K. Wow. Um, all coming All in. female. All female. Wow. All female. Wow, wow. So wow, we have wow. a lineup of 10 amazing, amazing poets, and from Ghana as mm -hmm. well, um, coming together um, on, on that concert night to, wow. to dazzle us with to beautiful us. poetry. All right. I mean, also special one to, I mean, for most, most people who do not know, Professor A.C. Uh, Sutherland um, was the former um, Deputy Minister for Tourism. So I feel like the tourism conversation was just yes, something that she here. was excited about to see all that is happening yeah. in the tourism space. But, uh, Mommy, what should people look forward to at this year's event? I mean, when we are celebrating your mom's um, 100th uh, anniversary. Well, there birthday. are, yeah, um, the several institutions are celebrating her here and abroad um mm. there's uh, there's been a festival in senegal mm. uh, that's dedicated to where um, there's a theater festival in um in uganda that's going to be dedicated to her okay um but there's also um in ghana the national theater um you know um and then you know the 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 the, the various various organizations um, are putting together plays, um, including the School of Performing Arts and, mm, and, mm. and so on, um, who are going to be doing her plays so that people can see them. I understand that Fun World in June is going to be dedicated uh, to her as well. Okay. And uh, the, um, for Emancipation Day, because she is the one who suggested uh, that we have Panafest to use theatre to deal with the, 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 you know, momentous issues that occurred um, during the enslavement period. Okay. Um, you know, the Emancipation Day will, will pay a tribute to her as well. All right. And, all right, uh, all right. I, you know, I, I, in fact, I've been told that Tema Secondary School and probably a few, uh, quite a few more schools are going to come up to ask for permission to do her plays. All right. So I expect that... Um, you know, conferences and so on are going to occur to bring the ideas that she she wants us to think about back to life. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Mommy. Now, where can people go for this event and then um, how can people engage with everything that is happening? Across all social media, it's AAWP Festival. Okay. AAWP Festival. Festival. You can also get updates on the centenary from efuasutherlandlegacy.com. Mm. Right. efuasutherlandlegacy.com. It's a three-day event. The festival is a three-day three event. event. All right, 23rd to 26th. Yes. All right. Thank you very, very much, WB Dubois Center, right? Yeah, at the Dubois Center yeah. and, and FC is on the same premise, so. All right, all right. In right. Cantonese. Thank you very, very much. We're looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to be there. Very and thank time. you very much for sticking and staying with us. It's been the chat. I've had a wonderful time. My name is Akol Kumsin. You can find me on all social media platforms at PK underscore Kumsin. Catch you next week where we have another fun time right here on the show. See you.